Hey guys, Matthew LaCroix here. Back for another mountain adventure in the Rocky Mountains. Today we're actually in Rocky Mountain National Park. So it's a totally different area than from the last trip. And we will be attempting to uh, ascend up to Flat Top Mountain and then hopefully Hallett Peak at nearly 13,000 feet. Um, that's gonna be very dependent on the conditions though. It is very windy. A lot of snow has fallen, two to three feet. Um, above uh, above 11,000 feet so it could be another pretty wild adventure but hey that's kind of what I do anyway so let's um let's see where this goes and hopefully we can reach Hallett Peak at um, at almost 13,000 feet but either way we're gonna get above treeline and it's gonna be spectacular the sun's gonna come out um, and it's just gonna be an incredibly beautiful snowy landscape so let's see what this adventure holds you ready So today's video is part two of a new series I'm starting on my channel that explores the uh, alpine adventures and wilderness journeys and maybe provides a little bit of knowledge along the way, a little perspective. Um, a lot of people ask me why I do this and why I go alone sometimes. Um, and truly I like to tell them that I really think that one of the most exhilarating things you can do is push yourself to the limits, but in a way where you're still not um, taking so much risk that you're just have certain death. It's one of those things where you toe the line, um, and that truly makes that truly makes it worth living um, in these experiences we have here. But being going out in the wilderness and doing alpine adventures is a lot more important than some may know, and it's more about helping to ground an individual and provide that needed clarity for so many of the things that bombard us and pull us away from what really matters. And that's why we have to push ourselves and go on adventures. Because remember, not all those who wander are truly lost. So far the conditions are actually pretty good. The winds are supposed to slightly lighten around lunchtime. I think there are currently hurricane force winds above treeline, but it's all part of the adventure, right? Well, we're almost at treeline just above that hill and up there um, and we're in extremely deep snow definitely is <laughs> challenging me right now we're in I'm doing four or five feet of breaking trail right now and even with snowshoes on it's extremely difficult I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here I'm getting into some very steep um, slopes and what happens is when you get the winds that come cresting over the continental divide, they blow a ton of snow down into these areas just below treeline, and you get these huge snow fields. And we do have a high avalanche danger today, so I probably should be a little careful about that. So I wanna show you what I just went up. This is definitely getting interesting. 
quite a slope we're ascending right now with some beautiful views as we get up towards 12,000 feet. Absolutely spectacular. But we're just about tree line right up there. And not 100% sure if we're still on the trail or not. So the good news is we found the trail and we are about to crest tree line. Absolutely beautiful up here. And we're in some pretty extreme snow drifts. Now look at this one coming up. Just put some new gear on. Because the second we get over the top of this, the winds are gonna howl. Look at these snow drifts though. to 100 miles or more right now. It's quite amazing. But yeah, the beauty of Rocky Mountain National Park. And that's where we're going. I can tell you that the second we get to that that rocky outcrop up there, and crest that, that top of that ridge, the winds are gonna really, really increase. All right, we're about to crest 12,000 feet, and we are up on a massive open, open tundra environment here. We're about to crest over the top of this hill, and then we're gonna see how far we can make it. Absolutely spectacular place to be right now. So beautiful. Mountains just all around you. So far, the winds are totally doable. So we might make Hallow Peak. <sighs> Cross my fingers. <sighs> so, good news and bad news. Good news first, we've passed 12,000 feet. We're at the top of the continental divide. So that's a milestone in its own. Bad news is the winds are definitely increasing and the peak we're about to climb truly looks like it's a little rough right now. You can see snow just whipping off the summit. So we will see how far we can get. Even to me that looks a little wild up there. But it is spectacular up here. spot I'm standing in is literally a sheer drop of like 2,000 feet below me. We're going up there. This is absolutely incredible up here. It really is. Hard to put in words.
feels like you're on top of the world right here. Signing out. Until next time.